years, what new belief, behavior, or habit has most improved your life? In the last five years, what new belief, behavior, or habit has most improved your life? Joe. What new belief, habit, or behavior has most improved my life in the last five years? It's been roughly three and a half years ago, four years, since we all watched the sleepy hall of fire progress into town and crown over there in Broadview and burn 28 homes. I had a front row seat from Western Avenue and Maple, and we could see the homes going up as the 30 to 40 mile an hour wind blasted our face along with the embers and smoke. I was on the east side of Western Avenue, which meant we were on a level one evacuation. The people across the street were on a level three evacuation. And I watched as the senior center, as, as the senior citizens poured out of the Haven View, I think it's called, mobile home estates. And I thought about them and I worried about them because some of them might be nine years old, have a hard time getting out. When I grew up, I was raised with certain values and I was able to participate in the Boy Scouts. I took it to, in my opinion, a very high level, being staff on Catalina Island for two summers, got to life, once for an eagle, senior patrol leader, one of the campery, all those things. That ingrained in me a risk manager mentality. And when I saw my next door neighbors and their family come screeching up, jump out, run in the house, grab a couple of suitcase boxes and TVs, throw them in the car and screech out of there with no regard for anybody's safety, I decided uh, I wasn't gonna let any of that happen. And I put my foot down and said, not on my watch. I felt relevant, I felt part of the solution as a risk manager, present day insurance agent, that's what you would call me. And I reached out to our fire chief, Mike Burnett, who met with me for an hour and a half one day. And at the end of the meeting, Mike looked at me, he shook his hand, he says, you know, Joe, this is the third meeting like this I've had since the sleepy hell of fire. And I have a tremendous amount of respect for Mike. I looked him in the eyes, and I realized that what he was saying was that people are taking from me somebody who needs to give. And so I presented the first, second, and third annual Wenatchee Valley Fire Lives Day, held down at the Pilots Market for the last three years, every late uh, February. I'm very passionate about it. It has introduced me to hundreds of new people, and it just keeps on getting better. This year we had Smokey Bear. Mm -hmm. That's it. Thank you.